Moving further, the most important thing we are, we are basically saying boldly today is that we will get to 90% population coverage on 4G this year, actually next month. We have actually crossed 11,000 sites. The interesting part for me is that uh, 2015, we had roughly 5 million people having access to 4G. And today, we've got more than 50 million people basically on, 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 on 4G. The detractors will tell you that uh, we do the 4G for the rich areas and we basically ignore the coffee powers of this world, the car, the car tours of this world. But that is not true for MTN. Because as, as I said earlier, we really believe that everyone deserves the benefits of a modern connected life. So this basically across, across, across the country. For us, it doesn't just stop with the radio access network. We also need to make sure that we, we build a strong fiber network, mostly to help us with backhauling. And the other part as well, from a group perspective, we own a lot of world cable assets. So you will talk to the Googles today, you will take the Facebooks today. They've got a lot of data centers in country where they really cache their content. And for them to basically be connected globally, they need to make sure that we've got proper freeways. In summary, we're really, really super excited that we're able to get to 90% population coverage this year. We didn't think it was actually possible. And then we also make the commitment that we will continue actually investing. We have spent like over 40 billion rands in the last four years just building the network. And I'm not blaming that or anybody else, but it was kind of like difficult to be basically be put, putting a lot of money. But we just remain stubborn and optimistic about South Africa. We have to continue to invest. And also in the, in the coming years, in the outer years, that's, uh, that's, that's the way we operate.